Eddie Irvine calls them works of art, and he's right. But they're really racing cars. So the following day, drivers like 1964 world champion John Surtees and the man they always called the racing dentist, Tony Brooks, joined scores of other racing greats in ignoring the rain and showing a vast crowd of typically calm ad Italians that the form of art practiced by Ferrari was definitely not still life. In fact, to many of us, it was, and still is, music. The stars of the show, naturally, were the current Formula One team. And as Jean Todt made his entrance in style, the red and white army needed to put Michael Schumacher and Eddie Irvine on the grid was waiting for him. But this is Italy, and although Mr. Todt's troops were models of discipline, especially when they were advancing to back up their gladiators, not everything was so well organized. If you think of Schumacher and Irvine as the gladiators of today, this was the right place for them to appear. For this stretch of road through one of Rome's open spaces runs right past the Circus Maximus. From the days of ancient civilization, this has been a place where the citizens of the Eternal City have found entertainment and excitement. And the reason this was chosen for the anniversary celebrations? It was on this circuit in May 1947 that Ferrari won its first race. Enzo Ferrari was born in Modena on February 20th, 1898. As a young man, he raced cars, mainly Alfa Romeos, but he saw his future as a manager rather than a driver. He worked at first for Alfa, but in 1929, he set up his own race team. It was with this car, the classic Alfa Romeo P3, that he made his reputation and Scuderia Ferrari, with its prancing horse badge, effectively became the Alpha factory team. In 1936, the team had V12 Alphas to take on Germany's challenge in Grand Prix racing. In their element, these racers were the latest in engineering technology. Even today, 60 years later, they can raise the hairs on the back of your neck. Ferrari also had the greatest driver of the day, Tazio Nuvolari and the combination brought Grand Prix wins in Hungary and Spain. Nuvolari also won the Vanderbilt Cup in America, and today the trophy won by the Flying Mantuan is on display at Symbolic Motors in California. 